Martin talked about this poor person who has a PhD who works out the scheduling algorithm and has nightmares about it every night. Um, what Portfolio was doing when you were just tweaking those levels up and down in each these levers in each of the scope, time, releases and people resources thing is it is working through and going through each of these things really, really quickly and going, this is what you can do based on what you've told me already. So in terms of people's skills, who can do certain things, what can they do it in? Um, in terms of sequence, um, is this, uh, what's the, you know, this release has to come before this release. We've said that this release can't start until the other one before it's finished. That's what the sequence is. The priority of the backlog, and remember that priority is matched. If you drag it up in the plan, it's going to update down the project if you commit it. If they change it back, it's going to come back up when you can fight that way. Um, configurable constraints. Um, what have you said your plan should work? Can we have, you know, stories in the same, that are related in the same sprint or not? Can we have more than five people working on a story or not? Estimates, how long is it going to take based on how many people you've got? What are the dependencies? What is the team schedule? You know, who's, who's working on what thing in what order? Work stages, that's the kind of sequence between, you know, design and then implementation. And absences, because some people insist on having a holiday sometimes. And it's always looking at all these things, it's like spinning plates, and then working out based on what you've told it. So it's really, really clever and complex what it's doing, but for you guys at the front using it, it's just the same simple things. What It's trying to keep it in balance. You put something up, something else has to kind of cover that. It's really, really complex, but really useful.